Hello and welcome. As in the previous video we saw, how the order panel works in the admin dashboard of Spree Commerce. In this video, we will be looking into how you can handle promotions, in your store. Promotions, can be a very effective way to market your store and as well as help in retaining existing or new customers. To handle these promotions, Spree Commerce offers, promotions panel to creating, editing, or removing any active promotion. To view the promotion panel, log in and using admin credentials and go to promotions panel on the left hand side. When you click on promotions, you'll see two options. Promotions, where you can see all the active promotions and their information. Here you can create new promotions as well. Promotions category is where you can group all of your current promotions, by their theme or conditions. Now, if you want to create a new promotion, click on a new promotion. Add in the details such as name, code, description, usage limit, start and end date, its promotion category, and whether you want to advertise the promotion to the visitors. Once details are filled in, click on create. Now you need to define the rules for which this promotion is valid. Rules represent the factors that must be met for a promotion to apply to an order. You can set one or more rules for a single promotion. When you set multiple rules, you have the option of either requiring that all of the rules must be met for the promotion to apply, or allowing promotion to apply to order if even one of the rules is met. There are five types of rules. You can only add one rule of each type to a single promotion. Item total. When you select item total from the drop-down menu, you are declaring an item total rule, which means the total cart value should be in between of the declared value. Products. When you select product from the drop-down menu, this means order must contain at least one or all of the products that you declare. User. When you select user from the drop-down menu, the user rule type to restricts promotion to only those customers you declare. First order. When you select the first order from the drop down menu, this rule will restrict the promotion to only those customers ordering from you for the first time. User logged in. When you select user logged in from the drop down menu, the promotion will be applicable to those users that have logged in. One use per user. When you select one use per user from the drop down menu, this means the promotion will be applicable to be used only once per user. Taxon. When you select Taxon from the drop down menu, the promotion will be valid on those orders that have product from the declared Taxon. Option Value. When you select Option Value from the drop down menu, the promotion will be valid if the order has the specific product option that you have declared. Country. When you select Country from the drop down menu, you limit the promotion to one specific country. Now, moving towards action. This defines the action the promotion will have. Here you add how the adjustments will be made when a customer uses the promo code. Here we have four options. Create a whole order adjustment. This action creates applies adjustment on total cart value. Create a per line item adjustment. This action creates adjustment on every item added to the cart. Create a line items. This action allows you to add an additional product to the order. However, if your intention is to add a free product, you should do both a line item action to add the product, and an adjustment action to discount the cost of that variant. Free shipping. This action deducts the shipping charges of the order. When you opt for create a whole order adjustment, you have to select the way the discount is calculated. In the calculator you get the following options. Flat percent. Here you can specify the percentage of discount you want to give on total value of cart. The discount will be the same, for any total amount of cart. Flat rate. Here you can specify the amount and currency in which, which will be discounted on the total value of the cart. Again the discount will be the same, for any total amount of cart. Flexible rate. Here you can specify the amount and currency in which, which will be discounted on total value of cart. But the discount will be based on the cost of the first item, the cost of each additional item, the maximum number of items included in the promotion, and the currency. You get to edit this when you update the action after selecting flexible rate. Tiered percent. 
Here you can specify the percentage of discount you want to give based on the tiers of total cart value that you define after updating the action. Tiered flat rate. Here you can specify the amount and currency in which you want to offer discount you want to give based on the tiers of total cart value that you define after updating the action. And for per line adjustment action, you get the following options in the calculator. Percent per item. The amount percentage of discount you want to give per item in the cart. Flat rate. The amount and currency in which the discount will be given per item in the cart. Flexible rate. The amount and currency in which the discount will be given per item in the cart. But the discount will be based on the cost of the first item, the cost of each additional item, the maximum number of items included in the promotion, and the currency. For this example we will select, whole order adjustment. Select how you want to calculate the discount to be calculated. And then update the percentage of the discount. And again click on update to save the action. Once all done, click on update and your promotion is created. And the same can be seen in promotions tabs. If you want to clone the same promotion, you can do so by clicking on the clone. And to remove in promotion, click delete and the promotion is deleted. To edit any existing promotion, simply click on the edit option on right hand side. This will take you to the edit page. Here you can edit all the details. Once the details are updated, click on the update to save the changes made. Moving to the promotion category. Here you can create a group of similarly themed promotions, allowing you to have groups of promotions that are related to a specific season, occasion, customer behavior, etc. This makes managing the promotions easy, in case you are running different promotions for different users, or user behavior, or a specific sale, etc. To add a new category, click on the new promotion category, add your name, and its code, and click create. Your promotions category is created. The same category now can be selected while you are creating a new promotion or editing one. Let's take a look at how customers can apply for the promotion and change it reflects. Here we have a customer who has added a checked shirt to the cart. Now to apply for any promotion, the customer needs to add the promotion code and click the plus icon. The promotion will be applied if it matches the criteria and the discounted value will be reflected under the subtotal. This is how you can manage the promotions in Spree Commerce. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Stay tuned as we will be uploading more videos on other parts of Spree's admin panel. If you have queries about building a Spree Commerce store, visit our website w3villa.com or send an email at contact at the rate w3villa.com.